Is autopilot safe? Will full self-driving succeed? That's the million dollar question. Well actually it's a $12,000 question right now. Autopilot is Tesla's breakout technology. It's a feature that put autonomous driving systems on the map and showed us what cars can be capable of. But it can be quite a confusing topic, especially if you're not up to date on autonomous driving. So what is Autopilot exactly, and is Autopilot actually safe? What is everyone excited about, and why is it so controversial? In today's video, I'll be doing a rundown of what Autopilot is, how safe it is, and as well as what it can, and most importantly, can't do. So what is Autopilot? Tesla debuted its semi-autonomous driving system called Autopilot back in 2014. It employs an array of cameras and both radar and ultrasonic sensors located around the car and essentially incorporates the car's suite of driver assistance features. Autopilot introduces new features and improves existing functionality to make your Tesla safer and more capable over time. Autopilot enables your car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically within its lane. Current Autopilot features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle fully autonomous. In simpler terms, it's a feature that allows a Tesla to see the cars on the road and around it and drive itself to a limited degree. The system requires you, the driver, to either maintain a hold on the steering wheel or at least grab onto it every so often to let it know that you're paying attention. The system actually identifies hands by recognizing light resistance as the steering wheel turns, or from you manually turning the steering wheel very lightly. You will receive an audible and visual warning to take back the wheel if necessary, and the system will eventually switch itself off if these warnings are ignored. This doesn't mean that Autopilot is capable of turning a Tesla into a fully autonomous self-driving car. The system is useful, but still very limited and requires an attentive driver to be able to take control at a moment's notice. That is despite the name Autopilot. Tesla has released its latest quarterly data and it shows that driving with autopilot engaged is nearly 10 times safer than an average car and carries almost 90% lower risk of being involved in an accident. Tesla recorded one crash for every 4.31 million miles driven in which drivers were using autopilot technology, auto steer, and active safety features enabled. For drivers who were not using autopilot technology, no auto steer, and no active safety features enabled, Tesla recorded one crash for every 1.59 million miles driven. By comparison, NHTSA's most recent data shows that in the United States, there is an automobile crash for every 484,000 miles. That is truly impressive that a Tesla is nearly 10 times safer than a regular car with autopilot engaged. While no car in general can prevent all accidents, Tesla works every day to try to make them much less likely to occur. Active safety features come standard on all Tesla vehicles made after September 2014 for an added layer of safety beyond the physical structure of each Tesla. Because every Tesla is connected, they're able to use the billions of miles of real-world data from their global fleet, of which more than a couple billion have been driven with autopilot engaged to understand different ways accidents happen. Tesla then develops features that can help Tesla drivers mitigate or even avoid accidents. Through over-the-air software updates, Tesla is able to introduce safety features and enhancements long after the car has been delivered as well as release updated versions of existing safety features that take into account the most up-to-date real-world data collected by their fleet. So this leads to the question of, what can Autopilot do? Basic Autopilot is a system that is installed on every Tesla as a standard feature. This system includes various features that let the Tesla automatically accelerate up to a preset speed, brake for other vehicles or pedestrians that it sees ahead, as well as steering to help your car centered in its lane. This Tesla Autopilot system is designed to assist with the most burdensome parts of driving, namely driving long distances on highways and other similar roads. These cars also come with emergency braking, collision alerts, blind spot monitoring, and adaptive cruise control. Crucially, the last feature only controls acceleration and braking, leaving the driver to do the steering while adaptive cruise control is on. Full self-driving, however, is an optional extra only available as a $12,000 add-on or a $200 monthly subscription. This essentially is a more advanced version of basic autopilot system with more features to assist your driving. FSC comes with features like automatic lane changing that can handle merges, exits, and overtaking, as well as something called Navigate on Autopilot, which can take you from on-ramps to off-ramps during your journey. FSC also features an auto parking system, traffic light and stop sign recognition, and a summon feature which navigates your car out of a parking space and straight to you. FSC is also getting a feature that activates auto steer on city streets, which Tesla says will be available coming later this year, but there is no word on exactly when, however. Tesla will allow drivers to opt for the FSD beta program, which gives drivers access to new features and updates before they roll out to other drivers. However though, Tesla will only give you access if it's insurance system, which tracks your driving and considers you a good driver with a safety score. 
This FSC beta system seems to be working because despite criticism, Elon Musk claims that there has not been a single FSC beta accident since his program launched in October of 2020. Enhanced Autopilot is something that you may have heard of even if it's not available in the US. Enhanced Autopilot is essentially a middle ground option for certain regions like the UK, which gives you a lot of the best FSC features for a fraction of the price. Enhanced Autopilot comes with Auto Lane Changing, Auto Park, Summon, and the Navigate on Autopilot feature, but it doesn't include traffic light or stop sign recognition. Regardless if you get FSC or Enhanced Autopilot, they still require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle 100% autonomous. Full autonomy will be dependent on achieving reliability far in excess of human drivers as demonstrated by billions of miles of experience, as well as regulatory approval which may take longer in some jurisdictions. As Tesla's Autopilot, Enhanced Autopilot, and full self-driving capabilities evolve, your car will continuously be upgraded through over-the-air software updates. Moreover, this begs the question of what Autopilot can't do. The most important thing to remember about Autopilot is that it does not turn your Tesla into a self-driving car. Even if it seems that way, Autopilot is still classified as a level 2 autonomous driving system, and many of its features are still in beta. A fully autonomous car that has no option for driver input is classified as a level 5 system. So far, such cars are not available to purchase. So why is it called Autopilot? While an average person may understand the term Autopilot as something that's completely autonomous, Elon Musk claims it's different. Elon says that Autopilot was named after the Autopilot system used in planes, which eases the burden on human pilots but does not replace them. So while Autopilot requires an attentive human pilot in the cockpit, Autopilot requires a human driver behind the wheel. However, this hasn't stopped people from assuming Autopilot is capable of doing all the work for them. There have been several instances where people have been pulled over and arrested because they weren't in the driver's seat while autopilot was engaged. Some irresponsible people have even been caught sleeping while in the back seat. Tesla has been criticized for the kind of language it uses in relation to autopilot. Last year, a German court ruled that the name autopilot as well as other marketing material was misleading because it suggested that a Tesla could drive on its own. And it's not just Germany. Back in 2018, Two U.S. consumer rights groups, the Center for Auto Safety and Consumer Watchdog, urged the FTC to investigate Tesla over its autopilot marketing. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration also wrote to Tesla about its autopilot advertising that same year, but referred to the matter to the FTC. The bottom line is that Tesla Autopilot is an exceptionally useful tool, especially driving long distances, but it has its limitations. Limitations that are well worth keeping in mind before you get in the driver's seat and let the car start controlling itself. Self-driving cars are on the way and we will get to a point where cars will be able to drive people around without needing any human input. Don't let the semantics give you the wrong idea though, we're still years away from a truly autonomous vehicle. With all this info, data, and facts, it comes down to if autopilot is safe. As reported, it is technically nearly 10 times safer than a regular car. Still, with Tesla currently only being classified as level 2 autonomy, it can only get better from here. With FSC beta, it is argued that Tesla is able to be set on level 3 anytime soon. Future success for Tesla is predicted on its ability to reach level 4 or level 5, essentially complete autonomy before its peers. While Ford has postponed its plans to introduce its autonomous vehicle service until next year, GM said that it will focus on Ultra Cruise, a level 2 autonomous feature, in its vehicles in 2023. But as of right now, Tesla's Autopilot and FSD are light years ahead of any competition and is your best bet on the path to full autonomy. I hope you found this video helpful about Tesla's autopilot. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and be sure to turn on post notifications to stay updated on more videos to come. I have a lot of cool videos coming up and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. Comment your thoughts on this video and if you have any insight you'd like to share. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.